welcome! This is gonna be the small booktuber tag. I was tagged by the amazing, creative, and talented Mike from Pints and Paperbacks. Thank you so much, Mike, for the tag. What the small booktuber tag is, is a series of questions for small booktubers um, just to kind of introduce ourselves and I guess to let people get to know us a little bit better. So the very first question is introduce yourself. So hello, my name is Grace. I live in Northern California with two cats. I also have a horse. I am also married and my husband's name is River. My channel is called Beautiful Bookworm and I named it Beautiful Bookworm because worm with a Y is another term for a dragon. So I love the idea of like bookworm, but book dragon. And it also tells people that I love fantasy and I love dragons and stuff. So it gives you a little bit of information about me just by the title, um, bookworm, just by putting the Y in there. It lets you know what type of books that I like, what type of things I typically read, that I love fantasy and I love dragons and you know, things like that. So the beautiful part is really interesting story. So, um, one day before I started my YouTube channel, I was just kind of thinking about it and I knew I wanted something bookworm with a Y, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I was thinking maybe the curious bookworm or I didn't know I was thinking about it. So one day my husband, he was just trying to flirt with me and he got onto my Instagram account and he changed my Instagram name to Grace is beautiful or Grace the beautiful or so it was something about like Grace and beautiful. So like an hour or two later, I saw it and I was just like, oh my God, I have to change that. <laughs> I can't have Grace is beautiful out on the internet anywhere. No, I'm changing that. And so I grabbed my computer and like I went to change it. And then I, I just had this thought and I just stopped and I was like, wait a second. Why am I so uncomfortable? Why is this making me so uncomfortable in this moment? Like, why am I rushing to change this? And I was like, wow, you know how many other people feel really uncomfortable with calling themselves beautiful, you know? And so I just stopped and I thought about it for maybe like half an hour. I was just like, wow, but can I actually go on the internet and call myself beautiful? Like, is that okay? Is that allowed? Am I beautiful enough to call myself beautiful on the internet? Like, is this gonna be okay? <laughs> and cause I don't typically think of myself as like the beautiful type of girl. I normally just think of myself as really bookish and nerdy and cool and I've got a great personality and I love myself. But beautiful isn't something I would normally think when I think of myself, you know? That's like a different type of girl. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I just, I got to thinking and I was just thinking, I was like, you know, there are lots of different types of beautiful and how many girls like me or just humans like me don't think of themselves as typically beautiful because they are bookish and nerdy or because they are a certain way that maybe society doesn't say that's typically beautiful, you know, because the bookworm type of person isn't normally thought of as being beautiful, right? They're normally thought of as like nerdy and bookish and interesting and smart, but probably not beautiful, right? So all these thoughts were just running through my head. And then I was like, you know what? What if I just called my YouTube channel Beautiful Bookworm and just went with it, you know? And for me, I was like, not only making a statement that, oh, there's so many different types of beautiful, you know, I'm not the most feminine type of person that there is in the world, obviously. Um, I'm very bookish and nerdy kind of person, but I still can think of myself as beautiful and like how many other humans in the world need to see somebody who's super bookish and super nerdy go on the internet and call themselves beautiful, give them, you know, grounds to be like, wow, if that really bookish Star Wars loving nerdy girl thinks that she's beautiful, it's okay for me to think that I'm beautiful too, you know? I mean, you know, cause there are so many different types of beauty. So that's the story about why I chose to put the beautiful in front of the bookworm. Anyway, question number two, how long have you been on booktube? I have been on booktube about two and a half to three months at this point. I think I started in May, roughly. And um, it is currently July, so. There we go, only a couple of months. Question number three, what type of videos do you make? I am experimenting with all the bookish videos. So I love doing the wrap ups, the TBR videos. 
Um, I also really love doing reading vlogs. They take forever to edit, so I'm, I actually have some that I filmed and I just haven't edited and posted. I'm also been trying to do like book chats and book reviews and book discussions. I also like tag and challenge videos. I think just the challenge videos are so much fun because you get to like, you know, find different books and talk about different books that maybe people haven't heard of before. Question number four, what do you love about booktube? I love having a community of people that I can talk about books with because you know book reading is such like kind of a solo activity. Like reading books isn't like watching a movie where you can like pile in with a group of friends and all watch the same movie and then talk about it. You know reading a book is more like just you and a book you know and so with booktube I love that it gives a community of people who are all passionate about the same thing and all talk about our favorite characters and our favorite book and our favorite scenes and why we love what we love and um, it's just super fun to have friends that are passionate about reading with me that I can share some of my passions with and that's just really fun. I love that about book too. Um, question number five, what types of books do you typically read? Um, I like everything that falls under the speculative fiction genre, so magical realism, science fiction, fantasy. I typically lean more towards um, outer space kind of science fiction as far as fantasy goes. I typically lean more towards high fantasy than um, urban fantasy or portal fantasy or any of the others. I'm open to anything. I will read contemporary, I'll read nonfiction, I'll read like a whole variety of, a whole variety of things for sure. Um, but my favorite, my favorite I think would be outer space science fiction. Question number six. 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 What is your favorite video that you've made so far? I, I do love making reading vlogs. I think I like my Truth Witch reading vlog. I like my Nevermore reading vlog. Um, but they're kind of long, so I think one of my favorite short videos that I've made so far is I really like my emoji book tag because I think it's silly and fun and it's just silly and I got to be silly when making that one, so that's one of my favorites. And for the very last thing I have to do for this tag, I get to tag four. <laughs> I get to tag four other small booktubers. So let's see here. I am tagging Christina's Bookish World. Hi, Christina. I'm also tagging V from Caffeinated Covers. And I'm tagging Dale from Dale Rose. He's up to 100 subscribers already. Wow. And I'm also going to tag Scott Kaplan from just Scott Kaplan, I guess. I, Scott, I've been meaning to get to your booktube channel forever, and I have not gotten a chance to go comment on anything over there, but I keep meaning to. You're on my radar. So sorry I haven't gotten to comment on any of your stuff yet, but you're on my radar. I know you exist, and so hello, Scott. I'm tagging you. Ha ha ha. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the small booktubers tag. I love you guys. You're so freaking beautiful, and I will totally see you in the next video. Bye!